I'm a writer. It's weird how the moments that you least expect it are the moments of revelation. I love this story and then it's like a roller coaster. It's like a big dip and I'm like, oh, I hate this. <laughs> the first time I ever started to write was on an iPad. <laughs> The Google Creative Labs introduced us to machine learning tools that are trained on sets of data, a corpus, <laughs> I know that word. You import the prompt and it uses what it knows from the data that it's been trained on to spit out a coherent response. I used the ML tools to navigate my own authority over my writing. How much do I know about my character, but how much could someone else know about the character? There's one where you can talk to a character which I find really useful. It spat out this line that was like, I have broken water over too many people who didn't deserve it. That's, oh, breaking water, is that like crying? Is that like raining? Like what? It sent me off on this whole thing. My sister accused me of cutting off my snakes to spite my head. So I cut off my own head to spite her. The woman sitting beside the sensible man has lost her eyelids. Her eyes are completely circled. I was able to get a whole outline of a story that I wanted just by chatting. She thinks that I don't love myself enough, that I'm carting my head around just for attention. It made me aware of how randomness affects my work. I thought I was a very methodical writer and by using these words, I was forced to realize that I could actually harness noise. When I consider the relation between myself and the memory of myself, it's the differences that I obsess over. This was a lot more about process. Having an element of play in the actual construction of the writing kind of really got me out of my head a lot. I feel so trapped by my thoughts and my patterns of thinking. And these tools, they spit out some random nonsense that is strange. And these sentence constructions that are so novel. I think in the future, I would use it to question a stagnant piece of work. ML Tools is a good middle ground. There is like what you look to for influence and inspiration and information. And then there's you and like your subconscious as a writer. And then I think it sits really nicely in between that. Her face has lost some texture. She is frozen. What I meant to say, at least today, is I'm sorry and I cannot live inside the past forever.